hello guys welcome back to coding cafe my name is Mohamed Ali and in this video tutorial we are going to work on the chat activity let's say if I want to send a message to this user her name is Rida Ford okay so whenever the user type message and then he click on this send button and then first of all we have to uh, store this message data alongside with the sender and receiver ID in the Firebase database so how we can do it so go to the end of studio and first uh, let's start so I will explain each and every line of code uh, whenever we write okay so yeah let's do it so first of all uh, we have to set a click listener on this button and the name of that button is uh, we have not defined this button here okay so yeah first let's do it so go to the activity chat.xml file so if you scroll down then here you can see we have our this button which is basically an image button okay the send button so let's define this the id of this send message button so here we can say so we can say private button sorry image button basically and this will be send message button and then we have uh, an edit text where we basically uh, get the input from a user which is our this edit text so let's define this also here so we can say private edit text let's give it a name as message input text and now we have to initialize these fields here okay so you can see we have our this initialize controllers method so we can now initialize our both of these controllers which is image button and edit text in our this method so here we can say image button equals to either give it the equal yeah, image button equals to send message button equals to image button find view by id or dot id dot and the id for this button is send message button then we have a edit text which is message input text equals to edit text and the id for this is uh, input message let's confirm this first okay input message and send message button and this is send message button okay the id we wrote there is uh, another id which is for the group messages okay so make sure to use the same ids here if you don't then your app will crash okay so this is send message underscore btn okay and you can see send message btn and input message and then we have input message so now uh, we have to set a click listener on that so come here to the on create method and after this uh, initialize uh, controller method or let's say here we can say send message button dot set on click listener new on click listener i'm going to uh, give some design to this first so the background color for this will be dark gray and for that you can simply write at the red and write and then write darker gray this one okay this uh, option will appear here you can see this so yeah that's it go to the chat activity and now here we can uh, first let create a method here inside this we will write the code to save the message in the firebase database so that method will be private white and let us give it a name as send message and we have to call this method here whenever the user click on the send message button so first of all uh, whenever the user click on that button then we have to get the uh, message from this edit text and verify either the edit text is empty or not so for that we can simply say string message text equals to input message input text dot to get text dot to string if text utils dot is empty so if message uh, text is empty then we are going to tell the user to please first write a message to send 
and here we can simply say first write your message so whatever the message you want to tell the user you can just write here and then if everything is okay then we will send it in the uh, I mean we will save in the Firebase database so first uh, we will be needing to create a reference so for the easy use what we are going to do is to create different references okay so I'm going to create a string type variable and I will give it a name as message sender ref and it will be equals to so we will have uh, the first node which is the parent node by the name messages then put the slash sign after that we want to inside that parent node we want to uh, save the message sender id and in order to get the sender id for that we have to come here above and we need a uh, firebase auth so here we can simply say private firebase auth m auth and by using this m auth we are going to get the current user id as you know that the message receiver id we have already get this uh, in the previous video tutorials okay i hope you remember that so we are going to create another variable and that will be message sender id yeah that's it and now here we can say m auth equals to firebase auth dot get instance and then in the message sender id i mean we have to get the sender id of the online user so we can say amoth dot get current user dot get uid so yeah that's it and now here we can simply say message sender id and after that uh, we want to send uh, save the receiver id so we can say slash and use this concatenation sign plus message receiver id and the same as you know that we will display the message to both the sender and receiver so we, so we have to create a reference for the receiver also so we can say string and instead of sender we can give it a name as message receiver ref and it here remove this sender and this receiver and here we will first have the message receiver id and then we will have the message sender id as you know that uh, there will be uh, thousands or you can say million of messages between different users so we have to use a unique or you can say a random key for each message so that no message will replace with the previous ones okay so for that we can simply say database reference and let's give it a name as user message key reference equals to and we will be needing a database reference to the root okay so we can say private database reference and let's give it a name as root ref which means root reference and then here we can simply say root ref keep firebase database dot get instance dot get reference so this is our root ref and now here we can simply say root ref dot child messages and after that we want uh, I mean we need a message sender ID and then we can say dot child message receiver ID dot push and now we have to this will basically create a key okay so we have to get that key so for that i am going to create a string type variable by the name message push id so user message key ref dot get key so we are getting the key because we have to uh, we are going now to store the message by using this key so let's create a key uh, a map for that so we can say map press alt enter and import this map class and let's give it a name as message text body equals to new hash map message text body dot push sorry dot put and first it needs the object or you can say the key 
so it will be message and the value of that will be the message text which we are uh, getting from the user and we are storing inside the variable message text and let's copy paste this for the other data okay so one two and three the second one will be type that is the message type either it is a text message or the user is going to send some file to the other user so for now we are just working on the text messages so the type will be text and from whom the user is going to receive this so the message will be from the message receiver id sorry from uh, the sender we uh, a receiver will receive a message from the sender so we have to uh, use the we have to uh, save the sender id so that we can display their uh, profile pictures there on the chat activity to the receiver so yeah that's it and remove this fourth one and let's create uh, another map and let's give it a name as message body details let's say equals to new hash map message body details dot put first we will pass the message sender ref which we created just above here okay which is this one and after that slash we will pass the uh, message push id comma message text body and put a semicolon here so what basically it means that first of all we will have uh, messages the parent node and then after that we will have sender id the receiver id and then we will have this message push id and then the message details okay which is message type and from and once we i run the app you will further understand it more clearly when i will show you guys the database and the end of this video okay so first let me complete it and then we can say message body detail or just for the time saving let's copy paste this and we will change it for the receiver so paste that and message body de details message this is, this is basically the database reference which we created here okay so copy this and paste this here which is our message receiver ref slash message push id and then message text body so yeah that's it and then say root ref dot update children and we are going to pass the second map to it and uh, let's add a complete listener to it so that we can uh, display the error if any error occur in any case okay so we can say add on complete listener new on complete listener make sure to put a semicolon here and here we can simply say if task dot is successful then you can just uh, tell the user that he is message sent successfully and if any error occur you can also tell the user that is the message is not uh, not sent or any message you want to display I will simply write error and then I want to clear the edit text there so for that I can simply say message input text dot set text to null so yeah that's it now let's run the app to see if it is working or not so our app is running now successfully and now let's uh, send a message to this user Mohammed Ali share okay so I go to the database also and let's test it from here so here I am going to write the first message which is hello how are you and let's click on send button and here we go here you can see the message node if I expand this then we have one for the sender one for the receiver okay and if this is sender then this is the receiver and if I expand this one okay and this is the receiver this is the sender as you know that we have to display the messages to both the user okay so this is the logic which we are using okay and then after both of these we have a unique random key for each message under that key we will have the message data or you can say the details that is from whom this message is receiving and uh, 
the message okay uh, and then the type which is text for now since we are allowing the user to only uh, send uh, text messages okay but later on we will uh, work on it further i mean the files and the pictures etc okay to send to other person so here you can see the same we will uh, 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 i mean uh, to the sender and receiver we will display uh, this message okay so you can see it is working fine let's type another one let's say how is weather so here you can see that the message added for both the users so in this tutorial we have successfully uh, allow the user to send message okay and we store it inside the firebase real-time database now in the next video tutorial what we will be doing is that first we will uh, create some beautiful layout just like you guys see in whatsapp okay and then we will display these messages here to the users so yeah that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel coding cafe thumbs up for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now